Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Raven! Well, let's play The Raven, Legacy of a Master Thief. Uh, here we are as uh, a deal, and here are... There, of course, is Constable Anton Jakobselner and Dr. Gebhardt. That's yeah, like Constable Oliver in the back there. And I don't know exactly what we're trying to do. Do you gain... What are we trying to do? Secrets. I need to get onto the train. Just walking right on is not an option. Alright, okay. Uh, inch. Ah, the Raven's escape route. Uh, there was an explosion. Oh, right. No, this is stuff we already know. Uh, the Sons of Horus, each of the four sons is a symbol. Man, baboon, jackal, falcon. Uh, a few notes. It took a while, but Inch finally hired me. I'm supposed to do the dirty work for him, so be, so be it. I'll be near him, and that's what matters. Sooner or later, he'll go for the big score. So are we working against Inch, then? The eyes of the, sphin the Sphinx. Not a bad choice. The two of the most valuable jewels in the world, and definitely worthy of the Raven. I'm supposed to steal the first jewel from the British. So, so Inch is the... No. Wait. Because... Uh, maybe this is from Adil's perspective then, because Adil is saying that he's... Because Zelna was saying he definitely wasn't the raven, because this is a new raven, not the old raven. Mm. Alright, I'm supposed to steal the first jewel from the British Museum. Inch has ensured that the alarms in part of the museum will be shut off. He has exceptional contacts. The plan was for me to swap the eye of the Sphinx with, that, with a dummy without anyone noticing. Unfortunately, a guard and a bobby stumbled upon me before I had a chance to plant the fake. Everything was going according to plan. If you ignore the fact that Inch set off a bomb to eliminate the pair, I should have escaped just fine on my own without the spectacle and without risking anyone's life. Getting close to Inch was no picnic. He has a lot of helpers, but he keeps himself in the background. That's what makes it so difficult to catch him. He never gets his own hands dirty. He lets others do the work. People like me. It's my luck that he needs someone to replace his injured arm. Otherwise, I'd never have gotten so close to him. Inch doesn't really trust me. Doesn't matter. I'm right where I want to be. And as long as Inch takes me for an enthusiastic but not all that bright wannabe thief, everything will be fine. Inch's plan. We wanted to steal the first eye in London without anyone noticing. Only after the second eye was stolen in Cairo would anyone take a closer look at the first one and notice that it was a fake. I never actually planned on leaving the fake behind, but then Inch didn't follow his own plan either. He certainly never mentioned a bomb in his wastebasket. In a wastebasket. And now this business with the letter? I've no idea what that's about. What part of the plan will he change next? <gasps> Need to get on the train. We can't get on. Let's examine things. Ooh, what have we got? Things. We have things. Oh, this is the mess. He loves the spotlight and has a flair for the dramatic. Why else would he call himself the Raven? I don't like having to risk my own neck as part of his drama. What's the point of leaving messages for his opponent? So that they know it's him. I'd like to know what message Inch finds so important that he's willing to risk my neck to deliver it. It's only your neck. <laughs> Now's not the time. I have a train to catch. Indeed. Envelope. Huh. A ticket for a trip on the MS Lydia from Venice to Cairo. Some banknotes and a passport. Blank. Mm. No personal info. No picture. So this is what we found on... Inch has brilliant contacts mm. in the underworld. He knows the best counterfeiters, technicians, pickpockets, and con men. He remains anonymous, though. So Most of them don't even mm. know they're working for it. Mr. X, his contact in Cairo, probably doesn't have a clue who he is. Are you finished? There you go. So that's what we found on board before, isn't it? Um, when uh, Matt was there. My travel documents... I shouldn't have any trouble getting to Cairo now. Hmm. We know better. We know better. Sometimes you can find useful things in a waste bin, but this one seems to have been emptied recently. Yeah, you... you <laughs> the game knows! The game understands the tropes. It's a great kiosk. There probably isn't a single newspaper between Moscow and Madrid that's not reporting on the burglary. I'm famous! Unfortunately, not for the sort of elegantly executed theft I'd like to be known for. Hmm. Crate. The crate must have had bananas or something in it. It's empty now. Why, why did it have to be bananas? Ooh, ooh, think. Think. It's built out of thin wooden boards. Probably didn't have to bear much weight. 
and you're suggesting bananas. Use the grape for something. Don't know what the. Burglary in British Museum. One casualty. Five thousand pounds damage. Culprit unknown. Return of the Raven. I'd have escaped anyway, but Inch just couldn't resist playing with dynamite. I hope the security guard recovers soon. Hmm. A leather bag like the ones used by country doctors for carrying their equipment. Indeed. Hmm. If I swipe the bag, it'd cause confusion Ooh. while people look for it, and I might be able to sneak onto the train. <gasps> the only problem is, I can't take the bag with me. Ah. Ah, because um, Gebhardt mentioned that his bag went missing, didn't he? <laughs> I can't remember. I think so. Some of the passengers got off the train to stretch their legs. But this man started his journey right here in Zurich. He waited a good ten minutes for the train and began to get impatient. Mm. Judging by the bag, he's a doctor. He radiates self-confidence, almost arrogance. Indeed. Freight car. They won't let me ride along in the freight car. Not even if I ask nicely. <sighs> Curses. As soon as I'm on the train, I need to find a way to sneak into the freight car. I have to take one thing at a time, though. I can't interact with anything else. Ooh, conductor. The conductor from the train. He's keeping a watchful eye on his passengers and their luggage. The train's been held up. And he seems to want to prevent further delays. He'd see me if I tried to board the train. Indeed. So we need to scare him off. Well, not scare him off, but get him away. This is the saloon car. Fully furnished with a bar and all the niceties. The ladies and gentlemen would have a fit if I just waltzed in there wearing these clothes. So I want to get rid of him and get his clothes. Possible. I had a scribble. I had, a, I had a scribble. Can't let anyone see me getting on the train. Right, so I think we need to get rid of this bag. And we can't take it, can we? Not a chance. The doctor could easily spot me taking his bag. He'd sound the alarm. And our Swiss friend would have no choice but to arrest me. And then we'd have a real problem. Oh, we can probably... Probably they are speaking in... Forget... Because how does he know he's Swiss? Is the thought. We use that with the bag. Hide it in the crate. This wooden crate is big enough to completely conceal the bag. Uh -huh. It'd be protected from prying eyes. And I could make my exit from the scene of the crime unnoticed. There's still one problem. Someone might see me picking up the bag and putting it into the crate. Right, now I've got to find another way to do that. I was just thinking, this is actually, this train is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Because, um... Just like, because that's the freight car that Oliver and Legrand were in. Oh, because I'm in the door. If I try to just get on the train, the conductor would probably stop me, and might even turn me over to the police. Mm. I can't risk that. Indeed. Hmm... I don't think I can lure him away. One of the passengers would have to ask him for something. It would be best if I could get my hands on his clothes somehow. The conductor's uniform would be the ideal disguise. Ah, so he's the conductor we saw. Huh. Even if I was able to distract the conductor Worth. and slip onto the train, Sorry. I'd stick out like a sore thumb with these shabby clothes. Yes, I... I, I have yes. to find something more suitable. The conductors. Yeah, yeah, the conductor, conductor, conductor. Hmm. So this you. There's nothing. Ooh, maybe if I use the knife on the. Can I do that with the gate? Okay, we'll do that on the crate because it's the only thing we can interact with. I could probably pry the bottom boards off without too much effort. They're thin and the nails are short. Okay, and then you place it over the bag and then. No one noticed that. Perfect. It looks like a normal crate. So now we use that. It's now or never. I wonder if we're actually going to take the bag, or are we just going to? Hey, you, scrap! 
Uh, yes, sir. Oh, he did take the bag as well. Hmm. Well, if you just hide it in the crate, people will just pick up. Let the games begin. People will just look for the bag. Excuse me, gentlemen. No. Can't you see that I am talking to the constable? The train is leaving in a few minutes, sir. I have to ask you to board it now. We should get on. Perhaps we'll be able to continue our conversation during the trip. I won't stand in the way. <laughs> Where's my bag? You left it right there. I know that. I want to know where it is now. I, I don't know. I'll look for it right away. If you gentlemen would get on the train in the meantime, I will hold you and your employers liable for this. I'm sure he'll find the bag. Come on, Dr. Gebhardt. I will help you with your luggage. Fine. Hmm. The conductor doesn't really seem to know where to search for the lost bag. Finding a particular piece of luggage at a railway station is like finding a needle in a haystack. Random set of ellipses. Uh, random ellipses. Set. Let's see if we can get him down the alleyway and then somehow acquire his clothing. You seem to be searching for something. Can I help? Go away. There's no money to be earned here. That's not what I mean. I just thought. If you're looking for a brown bag... Why? Did you steal one? If that were true, I wouldn't be offering to help you. Indeed. I saw a little blonde boy take the bag. He ran off with it, over there. Really? Hmm. Thanks. Isn't that the bag? Where? Death by newspaper. You know, Nothing personal. <laughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Except in that situation, of course. Uh oh. No, oh, man. Dramatic timing. That does not look good. <laughs> that does not look good. Uh oh. Let me have a look. Damn, I can't let the professor see me. I shadowed him for days in London. He might recognize me. Calm down, Professor. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, so we're going back and we're doing some of the old things. Now, we know how, how we get out. We get out via the window, but there may be other things we want here. Um, part of me would be tempted, um, possibly, to kind of cut things up and stick them together. It'd be interesting just to see how um, chronologically it would fit together, because there is a third chapter. I think that the suitcase or the bag contain anything that could help me out. I better leave as little evidence as possible. Right. Uh, well, we're not wearing gloves, and it was. Well, there weren't any finger marks on here. Let's open the thing. The sink. The sink. No, that won't help me now. No. Uh, mirror. My God. I barely look like myself. Howl? Professor Lucien hasn't slept a single night in the cabin yet. The towel is unused. Take the towel. Because we can. If I twist it. Like a rope. Then I'd have a sort of rope. Yeah. I don't. No, nothing else here. Mm, the window. It was the only window that was open at the station. So it was a good way to get onto the train. And now, it might be my only way out. Open the window. Hmm. The window to the right should be the Baroness's cabin. And the one on the left is the saloon car. The roof 
could be my escape route. Uh oh. Oh yeah. If I stand up, my head is level with the roof, but the roof is too slanted and smooth to climb. Oh. Ah. Those are air ducts or something, but I can't reach them with my hands. Right, so we're gonna try and loop the towel over them, I'm guessing. Like traveling on a train. On, yes. Oh, the towel's gone. Hmm. Oh, we, are, we can go down. It's safe that I need to put the envelope on is in the freight car, but I can't just walk in like a delivery man. Okay, so I assume we go up on the roof. Uh, it might be that we need something else, though. We might have to drop down and go inside. Uh, and of course, because um, we did interact with. Oh, well, Zelda interacted with uh, the conductor. The ventilation shaft supplies the freight car with fresh air. It also seems big enough to climb through. I'd say I found my way in. I open it. The cover has two hinges on the back. It's possible to open it, but the two screws on the front hold it closed. Can I use the knife? No. Look through. It's a thing. I can't see anything but the rear of the car through the slots. Well, that won't do. What I really need is a view of the front. And I can't open it. More scribbling! What do you say? Portal... Uh, I need to find a way to get a look inside. Let's go back. I don't seem to find anything in here, around here. Oop. Thought maybe we would have been interacting with something. Okay, we are dropping down. So I'm in the freight the car door. The is guarded by my old friend, the Bobby from London. Mm. Even he would be curious to see a conductor in the freight car. Yes, uh, the toolbox. But the toolbox. Ugh. It's secured with a heavy padlock. We do have some keys. No, not what I need. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to go in then. Not much else to do. I should be able to move about freely in the train, as long as I keep away from Professor Lucien. The other guests don't know me, and conductors change several times during the journey. A new face shouldn't seem suspicious to anyone. Hmm. Young man? Uh, yes, sir? Tell me, when did they switch to self-service on the Orient Express? Should they not have informed the passengers about that in advance? Uh, forgive me, sir. I was... And what about my bag? Hmm? Did your colleague find it? I'm sorry, sir. I, I don't know. I expected as much. There will be consequences. Eep. And now, bring me my coffee. Of course, sir. Should I make the coffee? Asshole. You're pretending to be the conductor. Do I make him a coffee? 